Greetings and welcome to Indigenous Education's Moments in Indigenous History, which concentrates on facts which have been omitted or forgotten. We hope you enjoy today's lesson. As we mentioned in the previous moment, shell rings or shell midden mounds were structures the indigenous people of the United States created thousands of years ago. Shell rings like those found on Sapilo Island are some of the earliest large-scale public works in the United States. Another large-scale public works made of shell is Turtle Mound. Located nine miles south of New Smyrna Beach, Florida, it stands 50 feet high and has a length of over 600 feet, which be the length of two football fields. It once stood over 75 feet high. However, it, along with thousands of other shell structures, were partially or completely destroyed by shell mining. Shell rings, along with shell mounds, were mined for shell to make tabby, a building material composed mostly of ground shell. Tabby was used to build forts, chapels, lighthouses, hospitals, sugar mills, barns, breweries, homes, and slave quarters, just to name a few. The use of shell was encouraged since it was viewed that the material was incredibly plentiful. It was also depicted by the settlers, then later by the general public, that the shell was mere trash heaps left behind by the indigenous people. Shell rings and mounds were also utilized in road and highway paving projects. 22 salt mounds in one area of Florida were completely destroyed for use as road material. While the shell rings and shell mounds were being destroyed by man, nature has been just as destructive. Many salt rings and mounds were completely inundated, totally covered over the centuries by the rising sea level of the Atlantic Ocean. You have just finished watching Indigenous Education's Moments in Indigenous History. If you're interested in learning more about the mounds of North America, please check out our book, Revealing America's Dark Skin Past, Volume 1, available on Amazon. Thank you, and we hope to see you next time.